Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Chaos on the Sega Master System. I am one more sheep yet again and today we're taking on Mecha Green Hill Zone. No, my homeland, it's been ruined. So either Eggman's a real big fan of Green Hill Zone itself or he, he roboticized it. I'm gonna go with the latter there because I like the idea of revenge. He destroyed my homeland. Now he's gonna get his. 2015 Sonic the Hedgehog is the Punisher. That would be that would be interesting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just like the same deal as always. Just collect all the rings, and this is the hardest stage in the game to collect all 100 rings in order to gain access to the special stage. And that's because all the rings in this zone are very sporadically placed. They're all over the shop, and whenever you see those diagonal sort of platforms. That you saw me running on back in the Giga something or other zone. Uh, basically, you need to gain enough momentum in order to run across them. If you stand, if you could, basically, if you're not moving fast enough, you will not be able to run on them because otherwise you slip straight down. But the problem is, even while running, sometimes they will not work as planned. You know, sometimes you'll try and run on the things, but you'll still flat out fall through. They're very picky. I mean, you need to be a very specific speed, otherwise you're not going to be jumping on these, you know? But I have to say, I love this music. I love the music of Mecha Green Hill Zone. It's just so adventurous. It's so... Oh! The music in this game, I find, is really underrated. I have to be honest. This, the game, this soundtrack is one of the, one of the best Sonic soundtracks out there, probably. But not many people love it, and that's because some of the stages, like the earlier ones, are really bland. But from this point onwards, the music really starts to pick up and gets upbeat, you know? I, I love the soundtrack, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It isn't the best, don't get me wrong, but it, it does its job very well. But, um, yeah, I digress. Seriously though, like I said, all the rings in this zone are very sporadically placed, and there's so many enemies out there trying to kill you. This is the most dangerous zone in the game. If you don't know what you're doing, well, simply put, Stupid shit like that's gonna happen. That's just dickish. <laughs> Where you're gonna lose all of your rings and there's nothing you can really do about it. Basically, if you lose that many rings, it's usually best just to skip the stage now and just go on to the next stage, you know? Because there's so many ways you can just simply screw up that like that and... It's, ugh, it's annoying. It's so annoying. Like, if I didn't get hit by those spikes, I would've been able to jump into that, those lines of rings that we've seen right now. And I would be able to access the final hit special stage. But nope, alas. Eggman has dickish level design. <laughs> you know, it's kind of rare to come across level design like that in this game, because for the most part, this is a very fair game. There's no real dick traps in this game, apart from that one trap that we just got hit by. So, yeah, yeah. Oh well. Back to Act 2. The best thing about this zone is, this is probably the longest zone in the game for me, just because, like I said, every, it's not a good zone to get the special stage in, and I, a lot of people elect to go to the next zone in, as opposed to this zone in order to collect the next Chaos Emerald, but... I didn't think about that when I was recording this, so screw it, we're collecting the Chaos Emerald in this zone. Hope you guys like green, because you're going to see a lot of it. Fortunately, green is my favorite color, so uh, I, I'm happy. I, I'm happy as Larry. And I'm pretty sure Luigi, number one, is happy too. Oh, oh, okie dokie. <laughs> I, I had to try and smuggle that into this playthrough somehow. That's, that's probably going to be a new goal for me now. I'm going to try and find a way to smuggle the Luigi voice into every playthrough I can get on it. That'll be an interesting challenge, I, th I reckon. Like, the Luigi voice is one of those... I like doing it. People apparently love love me when I do it, so yeah, screw it. I'm gonna try and I'm just gonna try and push some more Luigi into each of these playthroughs. Maybe I'll have like a uh, Luigi's thoughts on the game. This is a good game. Oh, oh this is it. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's awfully uh, negative towards people. You sh for those of you who don't know, hence why you said your mother. What am I talking about? Honestly, I'm sorry for going up a bit off topic with this one. It's just, honestly, we've seen all this beforehand, you know, and if this was a normal playthrough where I decided to skip the stage and get the Chaos Emerald in the next stage, we would honestly probably be done with the LP by now. The LP would have been done in probably one part. <laughs> Seriously, I, I'm not joking. I would be able to fit everything in one part. 
but yeah, it's still fun. I still like it, you know. And it can't, it cannot argue this music is bad. I mean, it might be 8-bit chiptune, but this is definitely some good soundtracks, yo. Of course, let's be, let's be honest, it's one thing the Sonic series always has, even the bad games, they always have good soundtracks. Like, for example, Sonic 06 has a phenomenal game soundtrack. It's an awful game. I still enjoy it, but I enjoy it for all the wrong reasons, but it, it has a good soundtrack, you know. The exception of this rule, I think, is probably Sonic Boom. And Sonic Chronicles, which aren't even made by Sonic Team, so... I'll probably be ex why? <laughs> Wee! I love those little swirly platform things you can spin dash on. I always have. No! That's a dick move game. Why? Why? Poor Qua! Seriously, I don't, I, that's just evil. That's dick game design. That is not good game design. They should not have put that crusher there. If you can't see the crusher. How are you meant to know? Oh, I shouldn't jump on this platform. It could kill me. Oh my god. You see, the problem with that is... That's even more dickish on the Game Gear version of this game. Because I'm playing this the Master System version, and as a lot of you know, this is on the Game Gear as well. On the Game Gear version, the screen suffers from screen crunch, which means the screen is completely zoomed in on Sonic, which... Honestly, it makes these games unbearable. I really don't like the games when they're too zoomed in on Sonic. And I'm gonna be getting more into now a complaint about this whenever I tackle my Sonic Triple Trouble LP. Because my biggest problem with that game isn't the level design or anything, it's the fact that I can't see shit. And it really bugs me. But seriously, th this. That's just bad game design. Come on! Come on! Anyway, if you're wondering how to get through this gigantic maze of a special stage, all you need to do is hold down. I am dead serious. Hold down. If you continuously hold down, you will automatically go the right route. So the moment again, these pipes, just hold out the down button. And when you reach area by here, be prepared to jump. And of course, if you don't jump the right time, you'll be bounced back in here, so you get another shot. And you can either jump early enough to jump over the spring or jump just in time to protect yourself. So there we go. There's the last Chaos Emerald of the game, ladies and gentlemen. We've got them all! Alright! Okie dokie, wait to go! Ha oh ha! Ah. Fucking hell, look at the continues. <laughs> That's ridiculous! Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight continues! Ah, ah, ah. I'm not gonna use one of these things. I'm not gonna die that much. I mean, like I said, Mecha Green Hill Zone. I love the music and the overall level design, but I think that's literally the only zone in the game that has really bad traps. And I'm kind of happy that's really the only zone in the game that have mega bad traps like that, because that's, come on, game designers, you can do better than that, that's not challenge. That is just bad design. Challenge is something that I have to overcome. If I'm stuck to an unavoidable crushing trap, that's not challenge. Ah, uh, but I digress. Time for an easy boss fight. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is... I don't know what this thing is. I, I, it likes to climb up the wall and shoot lasers. All you need to do is just jump on its head repeatedly until it booms out, until it blows up. If you are underneath it when it drops, you will it will explode. Well, it will crush you. And whenever it reaches the top of the screen, it will drop down. So just, just stay on its head. Just keep pooping it, and it goes down easy. Easy boss fight. Probably the easiest boss fight par bar the first one. I think it's only harder than the first boss fight, because this one actually has a chance to hurt you if you're an idiot. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, welcome to Aqua Planet Zone, one of my favorite soundtracks in the game and one of my favorite levels in the game as well. The music in the stage is just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I mean, even though this game isn't as good as the Mega Drive game, you know, you, you shouldn't count it out. It's still a pretty fun experience. Anyway, to talk about this zone a bit more, I, li I like this zone. Like I said, the music is one of my favorite songs in the entire game. It's just, it's very catchy, it's very upbeat, I like it, you know? And in terms of level design, it's much better than the last level, you know? it's no, There's no major traps that I know of that can kill you, there's no, nothing stupid like that. So yeah, this is a really well designed level, and of course, it has water. 
Now, this game does go from what I call Sonic 2 logic in terms of water level design, which means if you're good enough, you can skip the water part of this water level just by going up the higher routes of the stage. And I love it when games give me the ability to do that. Water levels in Sonic games should always be like this, I feel. Where there's water in the water levels, obviously, and the water should be a punishment for not doing good enough in the higher routes. And I honestly feel that's what they should be. But alas, they, they're, they're either insta-kill traps these days or... Well, and then again, now that I think about it, water hasn't really been insta-kill since... For a while in the, in the series, now that I think about it. Like, when was the last time water was insta-kill? I think it was in, um... Sonic Unleashed, actually. Or was it Generations? I, it could be Generations the last time was. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, it's, it's still, it's, it's strange. It's so strange that for years the water's water's been like avoided in the 3D games, and even now, then I think it's not mainly water levels in 3D Sonic properly either. Like I don't even think Sonic Lost World has any 3D underwater sections apart from when you have the power up. So, come on, Sega, give us some 3D water levels. Come on, come on. Then they bring out a game that makes this commentary really did it. Thank you, Sega. <laughs> uh, but I digress. Let's just continue moving onwards through Aqua Planet Zone, the third act. See how short these levels are when you're not going for the Chaos Emeralds? It is ridiculous how short these stages are. And that's why I do feel this is a very good... Um, this is a good Sonic game to relax on, you know? If That was weird. It didn't... Okay. This is a good Sonic game to relax on and play through... Like on the bus or something, you know, because it's such a short game to complete. It, it, it's a very easy way to get, you know, just to pass the time. But anyway, for this boss fight by here, even though the boss music stopped, that's weird. Uh, all we need to do is kill the initial penguins that spawn in from the side of the screen, and then the main boss himself will pop up. Now you can either boop him on the head or just boop him on the side in order to hurt him. And after enough hits will go by, this guy will obviously go to his second phase and this second phase will be his basically the top half of his head will explode and fly off and he'll shoot missiles down from the sky these missiles are deceptively difficult to dodge so just dodge the missiles as best you can and whenever he comes back down to charge up his next attack boop him as quick as you can and he will be done and dusted and uh, with that yay we're basically on our way to the end of the game I believe now folks like I said, this is really a short playthrough. This is a really short game to get through, you know? Yeah, Electric Egg Zone. This electrifying level is actually the final stage of the game. Seriously, this is the end. This is the final final sequence. And uh, just as always, just be careful with this one, because this final stage has a lot of bottomless pits that you can quite easily fall into and get killed by, you know? So just take the route I'm taking and just be very, very careful, because obviously lasers going to be shooting at you. You're going to have, like, booster panels that will probably send you off the sides. You need to be really careful going through this zone, late, folks, you know, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you can't tell, but there's actually a conveyor belt on the floor by there. And... I was going fast enough so it didn't really affect me, but it could throw some people off, you know? But seriously, 30 seconds and the final zone is done. 30 seconds for the final zone, the, well, the first act. I don't understand what happened to the level design team. In Sonic Triple Trouble, the level design goes back to its normal length, but for some reason, this game, they just made the acts extremely short. And I don't know if you can actually get a Chaos Emerald in this zone. I didn't really look it up. Usually in the final zones of Sonic games, you can't get the Chaos Emeralds with the exception of like, maybe a couple of games. So, I just assumed that when you reach this point, you should have the Chaos Emeralds, but I honestly don't know if you need them at this point or not, so... Just, just, you know, just, just a pre-warning. Anyway, same sort of deal that applies. And this really doesn't really feel like a final stage, because despite the fact there are a couple of bombs around, there's not real... There's really not many enemies around the zone, and your biggest challenge are all these laser turrets and stuff that are really stationary and they go off when you have. usually when you're past them, so there's really no challenge in this final zone. Mecha Green Hill Zone was harder. 
If they swap the level design from this and make a green hill zone, I would consider it. At least it's harder than every other level in the game, so I'd probably consider it to be a final zone-ish. But seriously, it's just easy. It's way too easy for the point of game it's in. You know, they should have buffed up the difficulty just a slight bit. Have a couple of extra mooks around, you know, have a couple extra laser beams, because they have laser beam traps, but they're useless. They don't do bugger all. Anyway, this is on by here. This is the final act, and this final act has the music from the intro of the game, if you uh, notice, ladies and gentlemen. But no, oh, don't go backwards, you... Okay, I admit, that one was my fault, but seriously, <laughs> the music in his zone, I love the music. The, if you listen to the full version of this song, it does really, it does feel really climactic. The music in this zone is amazing. I'm just surprised they don't use, they don't use it for the entire zone, they only really use it for this act. It, it's quite weird, actually. But anyway, just coming across all these pipes, and uh, we're pretty much at the final boss now, ladies and gentlemen. We're already there. Seriously, the game is this short. The game is this short. So jump across here and the dramatic music will play. And Eggman's gonna be sporting his new chicken robot contraption. And whenever he comes out from the side of the screen, just bump on his head. Now you have to jump on his head itself in order to damage him. Which would probably give him a concussion, I would assume. Ugh. But uh, just be careful, because he's gonna shoot this Gemini Man sort of laser beam at you every so often, and this will bounce off the walls of the room. And the best place to really not get hit by that, even though I'm not really showing this off effectively, is the corner. If you go to the right corner of the room and duck, the Gemini Man sort of laser beam will never hit you. But just continue booping him on heads. Honestly, for a final boss, this is really easy. You're gonna get hurt a lot if you don't know how to dodge or where to go, but... Eh, what can I say? With that, Dr. Eggman is done and dusted. We have beaten Sonic Chaos, ladies and gentlemen. Or have we? No, we haven't. We actually got another phase of boss fight. Now, this boss fight by you, if he hits you, you're dead. One hit kill. So, what I advise is just timing your jumps and finding the right time to boop him on the head, you know, folks? But with one boop, he's gonna go down, so... It's more of a desperation attack, you know? If you get hit, you die, but if he gets hit, he dies, you know, folks? But with that, we're done! Eggman's gonna get away, as always. No way! I can't... Wait. I should have said that in Sonic's voice. No way! I can't believe this! Oh no. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually the end of Sonic Chaos already. Seriously, that is it. This is the game. That It's done. It is done. This game is complete. And what do I think about it? It's a very short game. It's a very fun adventure. And I honestly do recommend people to try it out and pick it up. It's a bit different from the normal Sonic games in terms of uh, the focus, because the focus in this one's mainly exploring the levels, collecting 100 rings. But, you know, it's a neat little side distraction, and if you want a fun, neat little game to play on the bus or something, seriously, try this out. Pick this up. Pick it up on the Game Gear. God knows why you'd use a Game Gear in this day and age, but you can. <laughs> I think this is on the 3DS as well if you want to try it on that. So, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun time. So with that, I'm going to leave the credits roll. So thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, and I'll catch you all next time in a different LP. The next Sonic game we're tackling will be Sonic Spinball, I think. So that's going to be an interesting one. So thanks for watching, people. I'll catch you all next time. Bye!